Pekora Ilich Nature Reserve Russian, is a nature reserve in the Komi Republic, Russia. It currently occupies 7,213 square kilometers and forms the core of the World Heritage Site Virgin Komi Forests. Location <laughs> 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 The nature reserve is located in the southeastern corner of the Komi Republic district, on the western slopes of the Ural Mountains and the adjacent foothills and lowlands. The area is drained by the upper course of the Pekora River and its tributary the Illich, from whose names the name of the reserve is derived. History The idea of the creation of a nature reserve in the Upper Pekora, as a sable zakaznik sanctuary, was proposed in 1915 by S. T. Nat, the chief forester of Vologda Gubernia, in his article in Lesnoy Journal, Forest Journal. The nature reserve was created on May 4, 1930, originally occupying 11,350 square kilometers. The borders of the reserve were set on July 30, 1931. Originally, the reserve's main office was built in the village of Ustilich, at the fall of the Illich into the Pekora. Access to that location being extremely difficult, the main office was moved in 1935 to the village of Yaksha, further upstream on the Pekora, but closer to the Kama River basin, via which the area communicated with the outside world in those days. In 1951 the reserve was greatly reduced in size, to a mere 930 square kilometers, its area became non-contiguous, with a small lowland section near Yaksha being separated from the highland part. In 1959 the area of the reserve was increased to its current size 7,213 square kilometers, but it still remains non-contiguous. To better protect the reserve, in 1973 a buffer area of 324 square kilometers similar in status to a national forest in the United States was created outside of the reserve. The size of the buffer area size was increased in 1984 by additional 330 square kilometers. Since 1986 reserve has been listed by UNESCO as one of the biosphere reserves of the World Network of Biosphere Reserves. In 1995 the forest area including the Pekora Illich Nature Reserve and its northern neighbor, the Yugad VA National Park, were recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, under the name Virgin Komi Forests. <laughs> <laughs> Landscape and vegetation Russian geographer A.A. Korchigan divided the area of the reserve into five natural regions the Pekora lowlands, pine forests, pine forested swamps, and moss swamps. There are few spruce forests in that area. This region includes the Gushinoba Lota goose swamp, a peat bog that occupies around 3 square kilometers, with the peat deposits some 5 to 6 meters deep. The Piedmont foothills region, dominated by forests of shade-loving species, Siberian spruce, Siberian pine, and Siberian fir. There are abundant forested swamps there, but hardly any moss swamps. The Upper Illich lowland, this region is surrounded by the Urals highlands and mountains and has particularly severe climate. The slow-growing forest there is classified as boreal taiga. The Ural Mountains, the area that is the least studied but has the greatest variety of landscapes. It includes the Piedmont Forest Belt fir and spruce, up to 300 to 350 meters in elevation. Above it, up to 600 meters elevation, is the subalpine forest belt, where firs and spruces are gradually replaced with birch forests and subalpine meadows. The tree line is at 550 to 650 meters elevation, although there are occasional firs at the elevations as high as 800 meters or even higher. Above the tree line, alpine meadows and then tundra are found. The valleys of the Pekora, Illich, and their tributaries. Wildlife <inaudible> 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 
Moose, beavers, squirrels, pine martens are abundant in the reserve. Sables are known to live in the Piedmont forest region of the reserve. The wild reindeer have almost disappeared after the loss of the pine forest section of the reserve in 1951, and consequent habitat destruction. The large predators include brown bears, wolves, and wolverines. Ten mustelid species make the reserve their home, from the largest, the wolverine, to the least weasel, as well as the ermine, the American and European mink, the pine marten, the sable, and the Siberian weasel. Research work Over the years, scientific research in many areas of biology and ecology was conducted in the reserve. Topics of research ranged from ants to squirrels to fish. The moose was a particularly important topic of research in the reserve. <laughs> moose domestication experiments The moose has long been an object of research at the Pecora Illich Nature Reserve. In the late 1940s, the management of the reserve encountered the problem of unsustainable growth of the moose population. By the early 1950s, pastures in the reserve started to be exhausted. To handle the problem, in 1956 a moose hunting enterprise was instituted. The enterprise was affiliated with the reserve, but located outside of its territory. It has been economically successful. Between 1956 and 1968, 1,000 moose were taken, providing 200 tons of meat. At the same time, hunting operations allowed the collection of valuable statistics on the biology of the Pecora moose population. Besides moose hunting, in 1949 the reserve staff created the facility they referred to as a moose farm Lociferma Lociferma to study the feasibility of moose domestication. The first director of this project was Yevgeny Konora. After he moved to the Volga Karma Nature Reserve in 1962, his student M. V. Kozhukov became the director. The main objectives of the farm were to learn more about moose biology and to use this knowledge to develop suitable food rations for the moose and techniques for caring for them, to study the feasibility of raising a farm-bred population, and to explore the possibilities of the use of the moose in the national economy. Over the first 40-plus years of the project, six generations of moose were raised on the farm, with some 30 to 35 animals at the farm in any given year. About 15 moose calves were raised at the farm in a good spring. The total number of the animals raised over the year is said to have exceeded 500. The farm's adult moose would spend most of the time browsing in the forest, however, a pregnant moose cow would always come back to the farm to give birth. Then, during the lactation period of three to five months, the moose cow would come to the farm several times a day, at the same hours, to be milked. The milk production of a moose is small compared to a dairy cow. Over the lactation season, a total of 300 to 500 liters (75 to 125 gallons) of milk is obtained from a moose. However, the milk has a high 12 to 14 percent fat content and is rich in vitamins and micronutrient elements. It is said to have medicinal properties. A farm-raised moose can live as long as 18 years, although few reach that age because of the depredations of wolves, bears, and poachers on the free-ranging population. Among the potential productive uses of the moose, the milk production was found the most promising. However, riding a moose and using it to pull a sleigh were tried at the farm as well. Over the years, a number of research articles dealing with the physiology, ethology, and ecology of the moose were published by the biologists from the reserve, as well as from the research institutes in Sik Tayuka and Moscow e.g. Kanoras and his associates moose domestication work at Pekora Illich, as well as somewhat similar muskox domestication project at the University of Alaska's Institute of Northern Agricultural Research, also provided valuable insights in the general theory of animal domestication. The facility, located in the remote northern Urals Tiger, was never meant to turn a profit, and found itself in a difficult situation after the government funding cutbacks of the early 1990s. 
According to a recent trip report, the moose farm operations have been greatly reduced, the remaining buildings are in a poor conditions, and only a few animals remain. A Moscow teacher visiting in 2003 reported that there were only five left. However, moose domestication experiments in Russia continue at the more favorably located Kostroma moose farm. See also List of Russian nature reserves class 1A Zapovedniks Wikicommons Gallery Manpupuna rock formations Topic Sources Moose-farm.ru in English Pekora Ilich nature reserve in Russian Pekora Ilich National Biosphere Nature Reserve in Russian DV Zhitnev DV Zitnev MM Serebriani MM Zerbrani Research Activities in Pekora Ilich Nature Reserve World's First Experimental Moose Farm Norkna Detalnost v Pekoro Ilikskom Zapovnike Perva v Myeropithna Losiferma 1988 in Russian Pekora Ilich Reserve Moose Farm a recent trip report in Russian. T. Lecomte. La reintroduction de l'élan alces alces dans les zones humides, un projet dans le cadre du développement durable des zones humides et favorisé. November 1998 in French. E. P. Canora. Change in the behavior of moose with age during the domestication. Le Naturaliste Canadien, Vol. 101 No. 1-2, p. 371-377. In English. Footnotes <inaudible> <inaudible>